These masks certainly know how to stand out in a crowd. Everybody freeze! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 non-horror movie masks. What's with the mask? See, I told you, I feel ridiculous. For this list, we're looking at the most memorable big screen masks for movies that aren't part of the horror genre. I believe whatever doesn't kill you simply makes you a stranger. This means we're excluding, for example, the alien face gear from Predator, or Jason's mask from Friday the 13th. Yo, man, it's cool. It's cool, man. It's cool. Number 10, Bane, The Dark Knight Rises. The mask of the man. Bane. Bane is without a doubt the fiercest member of Batman's rogues gallery. What are you? I'm Gotham's reckoning. Along with looking just plain badass, his mask serves two purposes. The first is more practical, as it is an instrument that helps his damaged body breathe. The doctor's fumbling attempts to repair the damage left him in perpetual agony. The mask holds the pain at bay. The second, and in many ways the most important purpose, is to scare the living crap out of his opponents. You don't fear death. You welcome it. Your punishment must be more severe. As if his hulking physique and military attire weren't menacing enough, Bane's mask leaves the dark and cold eyes exposed, adding one final terrifying touch to an already intimidating foe. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. If I pull that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. For you. Number nine, Zorro, Zorro franchise. I had impure thoughts about a man. Huh? I did. I think he was a bandit or something. He wore a black mask. Zorro is one of the most iconic characters in all of pop culture. His rich history includes appearances in serials, television, and film. When the titular hero was brought back to life in 1998's The Mask of Zorro, Antonio Banderas donned the swashbuckler's signature mask. Though Zorro can be a little bit of a showboat, his mask is all about mystery, which is what makes him so intriguing. Like most heroes, the mask is a symbol that shows us that anyone can stand up to injustice. Number eight, Iron Mask, the man in the Iron Mask. <laughs> It's terrible enough to be locked away in a dark and dreary prison, and being forced to wear this iron mask makes it all that much worse. I've worn this mask so long I don't feel safe without it. In this version of the tale, which expands upon the 1939 flick, Leonardo DiCaprio's Philippe is a man who was imprisoned by his father, King Louis XIII. For 16 years he was educated as a gentleman. Yes, and for six more he lived in that mask, not knowing why. Upon learning this, the Three Musketeers hatch a plan to free him and use him to replace his evil twin brother, King Louis XIV. We feared the mask would destroy you. I wear the mask. It does not wear me. Though not the prettiest of masks on the market, there's a sense of tragic beauty to its design, which makes it impossible to forget. Get this off me! Get this off me! Number seven, Rorschach, Watchmen. This city's afraid of me. I've seen its true face. Walter Kovacs, who goes by the name Rorschach, You keep calling me Walter. I don't like you. Has a mask that is distinctive both in its technological design and look. Nobody knows who you are. You can give it up. Try and have a normal life. This mask imitates the effects of a Rorschach ink block test, allowing it to respond to the heat and pressure that Kovacs experiences. The result is a mask that is constantly shifting its pattern due to the environment found around him. We were meant to exact justice. Everyone's gonna know what you've done. Kovacs believes this mask to be his true face, and because it's just so awesome, we certainly can't blame him. No! My face! Give me back my face! Number six, the Loki mask, the mask. Hey you! What are you doing down there? Uh, I'm just looking for my mask! When Stanley Ipkiss first encounters the object depicting the Norse god of darkness and mischief, he had no idea that it was more than just a simple wooden mask. I'm losing control. When I put that mask on, I can do anything. Be anything. 
donning the mask transforms its user into The Mask, a wild and flamboyant character that resembles the likes of those found on Saturday morning cartoons. Boom! Somebody stop me! While wearing it, Stanley becomes the man he's always wanted to be. Although it got him into quite a mess of trouble, there's no denying the pure fun and thrill that came along with wearing it. Ice this deadbeat! <laughs> Number five, the Maximus helmet, Gladiator. My name is Gladiator. Okay, so this is more of a helmet than just a mask, but it covers Maximus's face, so we're including it. Whatever comes out of these gates, we've got a better chance of survival if we work together. The brutal nature of the Gladiator arena is without question a kill or be killed world. You certainly wouldn't do yourself any favors if you went in without protection and if you didn't exactly look like much of a warrior. Fortunately for Maximus, his headgear covers his noggin while also giving him the look of a well-seasoned fighter. Tell me your name. What other mask can invoke a Maximus chant? Not many. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Number four, V, V for Vendetta. What I am is a man in a mask. There's just something elegant about that Guy Fox mask that V wears in this political thriller based on the graphic novel. I'm not questioning your powers of observation. I'm merely remarking upon the paradox of asking a masked man who he is. Taking inspiration from the historical figure, V wears this stylized representation as he pursues his quest for vengeance against the tyranny that inhabits the world he lives in. May I? Inquire as to how you've avoided detection. A fake ID works better than a Guy Fawkes mask. Ah. I must confess, every time I heard a siren, I worried about you. Simple in design, there's no denying its sense of elegance. There is a face beneath this mask, but it's not me. I'm no more that face than I am the muscles beneath it or the bones beneath them. Of course, adding Hugo Weaving's hypnotizing voice behind the mask certainly adds to the awesomeness as well. Beneath this mask, there is more than flesh. Beneath this mask, there is an idea, Mr. Creedy. And ideas are bulletproof. Number three, Batman, Batman franchise. I'm Batman. Batman is one of the most recognizable superheroes in the world today. Oh, sure, you just take off your little mask and show us all who you really are. Just a silhouette of his famous cowl and mask are instantly familiar to many. Although the Dark Knight has gone through many cinematic looks, his mask has remained virtually the same throughout. I don't mind the work. Pity I can't see behind the mask. We all wear masks. Much like Zorro, who technically inspired him, Batman is a symbol meant to strike fear into those who prey on the innocent, and he shows us that we can all stand up for justice too. Then I found out about your mask. Batman's just a symbol, Rachel. No, this is your mask. After all, who wouldn't want to say, I'm Batman, from time to time? If you wore this mask on the regular, the saying might just come naturally to you too. What are you? I'm Batman. Number two, Darth Vader, the Star Wars franchise. Luke, help me take this mask off. Darth Vader is arguably the most iconic villain in movie history. Just check out our other lists. You are beaten. It is useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. His cold, black, robot-like mask is recognized around the world, and those who spot it immediately connect it with its significance. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Vader has transcended cinema and has become a pop culture icon. His mask fully embodies his turn to the dark side of the Force, taking away any trace of the good man he used to be. Your thoughts betray you, father. I feel the good in you, the conflict. There is no conflict. Of course, he would eventually be turned good again by his son Luke, but his evil mask and its importance will never be forgotten. Let me look on you with my own eyes. Before we unmask our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions.
This is a professional relationship. Number one, The Phantom. The Phantom of the Opera. Damn you! What makes The Phantom of the Opera so intriguing is the complete awe and sense of mystery that the mask invokes. It comes too late. Turn around and face your fate. It's very simple in design, but that in no way takes away from his dramatic presence. I am your angel of music. His mask has the ability to evoke fear in the hearts of man, but it can also take your breath away with elegance and beauty. And when accompanied by his spellbinding music, this mask is as much of a character as the Phantom himself. He was to love you. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite non-horror movie mask? For more awesome top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Remove your clothes, or would you like us to do it for you?